Assalamualaikum and greetings human beings. In this video, I shall give a short review on the Belgian BAM4 GP. Basically, this month was issued to the Belgian army to replace the ANP M51. Anticom is the manufacturer of the mask. The invention of the mask was credited to this man, which I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. You can check out more about him and his patterns by clicking the links mentioned in the description. There are two versions of the mask. The mask on the left is the earlier version, while the mask on the right is the later version. The early version has a drinking system, of which it was then removed on the later version of the mask. This is because the drinking system is prone to failures which in many instances lead to the mask having a leak. In response to that, Angicom decided to just remove the drinking feature instead of fixing the design. The port where it is located at is screwed with a stopper which can be easily unscrewed with an allen key. The molded side stamp on the earlier and the later version of the mask has different fonts being used. It is worth noting that there are three sizes available for the mask, small, S, medium, M, and large, L. On each band for GP, they have a voice emitter which is located near the S hell valve. There is a dead stamp molded on the head straps. The mask has the six point head straps, the upper and the center strap must be adjusted before donning the mask. Only the bottom straps can be adjusted while donning the mask. There is a tab on the straps to assist the user to don the mask. And here's how it helps with donning the mask. Obviously, it is recommended for a user to have little to no facial hair and don't forget taking off the spectacles as well. The 40mm standard board is adjustable to three positions, left, center and right. The 40mm standard can be adjusted in accordance to the needs of the wearer without risk of leak. Since I live in Malaysia, I do not own any firearms. So just imagine my umbrella is a rifle. Here I am wearing the mask with two different riot helmet models. Sometimes while using the mask, the inhale valve may get uprooted from its place. This could cause the mask to fog. The easiest remedy for this is to reinsert it back to its place. Here's the bag that came with the mask. This is the mask itself. This is the original filter that came with it, of which it is still in its original plastic packaging seal. In Dutch and French, it is written, by destroying the packaging, you will destroy the seal of the filter. This is the manual for the mask, also written in Dutch and French. You can take a more detailed look at the manual by clicking the link mentioned in the description. The back is worn by sliding the user's belt on the belt loop of the back. The user must then connect the buckles of the straps together around the user's own tie. That's all from me. Thanks for watching.